Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, April 14th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am the soul of the soul of the universe. And today we have Venus shifting out of Aries into Taurus. So that shift will happen 11.22 a.m. Pacific time. So we're going to have Venus hanging out at that 29 degrees the first part of the day and then heading into that zero degree energy. So 29, it's like Venus on steroids. <laughs> Venus and Aries on steroids. So anything at 29 degrees Aries might have like a, you know, a lightning kind of trigger energy to go into reactivity mode. Um, but this is really a call to like take action in honoring who you are. And again, remembering Aries. Aries gets, Aries doesn't often get credit for the divinity that Aries energy can bring. Like again, the first sign of the zodiac, it is like almost the closest to God, you know? It's like a new ba newborn baby. So Aries has that newborn baby smell. So we want to honor that in ourselves and remember ourselves as this deeply divine spiritual being and not just not just get caught up in like all the human activity that we can get caught up in with Aries energy. So then Aries into Taurus, it's going to be a fairly fast transit. Um, uh, not Aries and Taurus, sorry, Venus, <laughs> Venus and Taurus, fairly fast transit. Venus will be moving out May 8th into the sign of Gemini, but Venus and Taurus, Venus is one of the rulers of the sign of Taurus. So this is where we really double down on those Taurus lessons about our worth, about what we value within ourselves, within others. This is a great time to get in touch with our gifts. Like if you are a gifted piano player, if you are a gifted artist, if you are a gifted speaker, if you are gifted with numbers, doubling down on that gift and like honoring that within yourself and seeing where can you bring forth that gift in the world. We have these gifts to share them. And so that's part of the lesson. Like know the value of sharing your gifts with Venus in Taurus. Now, what we do want to be aware of is Venus in Taurus can be a little bit hedonistic. Do I have the card? I knew I had the card. I absolutely have Osho's hedonistic card. It's the card of abundance. So Venus in Taurus absolutely concentrating on the energy of abundance, which is about like enjoying and finding the pleasure in the world. Um, and in this card, Osho gives the wisdom like, Find, find your balance. This is Zorba the Buddha. So Zorba is like Zorba the Greek, this hedonist who enjoyed food and pleasure and all those things. And yet the Buddha who connects to spirit and is ready to give up, um, you know, give up anything that weighs him down and keeps him from spirit. So it's finding the balance in that energy. And by the way, Buddha, I think achieved enlightenment during Taurus time. I don't know if there's so many Buddhas, so we can't say Buddha is a Taurus, but Buddha achieved enlightenment during Taurus time. So allowing that connection to spirit be part of the pleasure that you connect into with Venus in Taurus. But again, watching the going overboard, and we may find ourselves in escapism, turning to pleasure, which again, it's a good thing in balance, but can be a place where we go overboard. Also, watch your worth. With Venus and Taurus, old worth issues may come to the surface to be worked through, moved through. So the awareness of that is important. Now that goes hand in hand with our other transits today. We have the moon in Taurus uh, finishing up through the day. We're going to have the moon squaring Jupiter. And this felt like a very important message. You are worthy of your vision. You are worthy of this good life that you deserve. And so many of us struggle to get to that place where we feel worthy. And this isn't about being spoiled. And it's not about uh, being owed anything. It's really understanding your worthiness and sinking into that energy. And then allowing and working with your vision to let it unfold. But you may already be coming across some of those energies where you don't really feel that. We also have uh, the moon trining Pluto. Now this is definitely something we want to look at. Again, this may bring up some shadow energies around your worth, even around your gifts, around money that you may have to face. This is building us into the sun, square Pluto tomorrow. So we may find ourselves a little bit on it, a little bit snappy in this energy. And again, 
It's asking us to look at our shadow. It's asking us where do we need to step up in our own personal empowerment in and through this energy. But tension can be up and it can build some power plays. That's actually not tomorrow. That's going to be it's going to be Friday that we have that square. But we're, fe we're feeling the build. The build is happening. So be aware of that and that moon may show us. The moon-pluto connection may show us some of those areas where we can already step up into that empowerment work. Um, moon will shift into Gemini later in the evening, so get ready for some mental monkeys, mental monkey chatter coming in. Um, but I do want to mention, in case I didn't say this or reiterate this enough, uh, Venus at zero degrees <laughs> between that and the sun building into a square with Pluto, relationships may feel a little crossroads. They may feel a little wonky. Anytime Venus is at zero degrees, whew, Stuff just goes offline. So the more you can like kind of focus on yourself, tending to yourself, what do you need on this like physical plane? That will serve you in this energy. Buckling down, connecting to source, feeling grounded, feeling rooted, finding that balance between pleasure, but also between like what is your spiritual work? They do work in tandem. <laughs> I have the compromise card. I think keep this in mind. I always call this a don't compromise card, but being that Venus is at zero degrees, you don't have to be ready to pick a fight, you know? I have, I also have the isolation card, and I think sometimes Venus at zero degrees can feel a little bit like this because it just feels like relationships just kind of go offline, and it just feels a little wonky. It's just for a few hours. It'll pass, but if you feel like this, again, what are your needs, and where can you show up? in this balance, balancing the pleasure and balancing your spiritual work. Um, finally, I have this rebirth card. <laughs> what am I really feeling with this rebirth card and this energy? It feels kind of like this energy, uh, that Aries energy that, that I spoke of, you know, coming in as this spiritual being and remembering that and not getting overly caught up in being human, right? The humanness, I think we've We've got that sort of down, or most of us do. Maybe some of you have to work on the human thing. But it's like allowing yourself to recognize who you are as a spiritual being and not getting caught up in the shoulds of the world. Rebirthing to the truth, to the purity of yourself. So, leaving that there, I still have my sale going. Thank you all of you guys who are helping me with this move. Uh, email me, mimiclark at gmail.com to set that up. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power always. And stay curious. Namaste.